हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू आवर न्यू टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन दैट इज माइक्रोवेस्कुलर कॉम्प्लिकेशंस इन डायबिटीज मेलिटस हैज वी नो दैट दिस माइक्रोवेस्कुलर कॉम्प्लिकेशंस आर मेनली प्रोड्यूस्ड बिकॉज ऑफ द हाइपर एंड दिस हाइपर कैन डैमेज द आर्टरियोस कैपिलरीज एंड अदर माइक्रोवेस्कुलचर ऑफ वेरियस ऑर्गेन्स एंड टिशोज so for causation of this hyperglycemia there are various organs involved and uh, the various mechanism behind that in kidney there is increase in glucose reabsorption by the kidneys so this will ultimately enhance the level of glucose in the body in pancreas there is decrease in insulin secretion in brain there is dysfunction in the neurotransmitters in intestine there is decrease in incretin effect so we know that this incretin has inhibition in hepatic glucose production uh, by stimulating the insulin secretion and inhibiting the glucose glucagon secretion so when there is decrease in the incretin level so this will cause the increase in blood glucose level and ultimately hyperglycemia the uh, fifth uh, mechanism is increase increase in hepatic glucose production so this will also enhance the level of glucose there is decrease in glucose uptake by the muscles so all the glucose left will go in the blood blood circulation the last one is increase in lipolysis so ultimately it will provide a substance for gluconeogenesis to enhance the level of glucose in the blood ultimately this microvascular complication will uh, uh, produce various devastating uh, complications in various organs so in eyes it will produce retinopathy which will ultimately cause the acquired blindness and the main cells which will involved in this will be of retina those are endothelial cells parasites muller cells and ganglion cells the next organ will be the kidney and this uh, complication will known as uh, nephropathy diabetic nephropathy it will cause end stage renal disease or chronic renal failure the cells here involved are of glomerulus those cells are messenger cells and porocytes the third devastating complication is neuropathy and this will uh, make the person physically handicapped and the cells which will be involved are peripheral nerves swan cells endothelial cells and parasites now let's discuss the genetics behind the microvascular complications so it by the various uh, studies it has been proven that uh, microvascular complications of diabetes are genetically determined there are uh, various epigenetic changes in the uh, diabetes those are methylation of the histone protein chromatid modeling and the changes in the expression of the gene so this uh, theory has al- also be proven by the certain uh, studies which proves that certain diabetic related complications they are run in the families and it is also seen that uh, the complication in type 2 diabetes mellitus has association with various specific genetic loci now let's discuss about the mechanism behind the microvascular complications so still the mechanism of microangiopathy is not completely understood because this microvascular complications are not because of a single factor this depends on the uh, more than one factors so the multifactorial nature of uh, causation of microvascular complications are there and ultimately uh, this uh, uh, microvascular complications are produced because the long standing hyperglycemia in the body which ultimately causes the microvascular damage in the various uh, cellular pathways and uh, uh, 
दीज आर बिकॉज ऑफ द अनकंट्रोल्ड हाई लेवल ऑफ ग्लूकोज हाउ एवर दी कैस्टिक्स फीचर्स ऑफ ऑल दिस एंजियोपैथी और वेस्कुलर डैमेज विच आर टेकिंग प्लेस एट वेरियस ऑर्गेन्स आर बिकॉज ऑफ द थिकनिंग ऑफ द बेस्टपेंट मेम्ब्रेन ऑफ वेरियस स्मॉल ब्लड वेसल्स सो दिस वेस्कुलर एंडोथेलियम इज सबसे सबसेप्टिबल टू हाइपर ग्लासीमिया बिकॉज देर इज लैकिंग इन द डाउन रेगुलेशन ऑफ द ग्लूकोज ट्रांसपोर्ट एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दैट द वेस्कुलर ल्यूमेन विल बी नेरोड दिस विल अल्टीमेटली लीड टू इचिमिया एंड नेक्रोसिस एंड इिवर्सिबल डैमेज टू सच टॉर्गन टारगेट ऑर्गन अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट द अदर मेकेनिज्म फॉर दिस कॉम्प्लिकेशंस आर द एंडोथिलियल हाइपर प्लासिया एंड इंक्रीज प्रोडक्शन ऑफ द एक्स्ट्रा सेलुलर मैट्रिक्स एंड दिस आल्सो दिस टू मेकेनिज्म द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ एंडोथिलियल हाइपर प्लासिया एंड एक्स्ट्रा सेलुलर मैट्रिक्स विल आल्सो लीड टू वेसल वॉल थिकनिंग for uh, such examples are the uh, the mesangial cells in the kidney and the parasites in the retina and uh, 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 this will lead to pro- increase in the level of extracellular matrix in such uh, cells in such uh, organs we should discuss about one of the most important trial that is uh, diabetes control and complication trial which took place is 1993 and this dccct trial gave a very important concept that is known as metabolic memory or glycemic memory and as per this dccct trial if any patient of diabetes is is on early intensive glycemic control so there are reduce chances reduce risk for development of microvascular complications but if such uh, intensive glycemic control therapy is already been delayed and there are long term metabolic dysregulation in the person so there be no decrease in risk for the complication and there are higher chances that the person will develop the microvascular complications so this uh, metabolic down regulation will produce the reactive oxygen species it will also produce the advanced glycation end products the polyal pathway will develop and there is there will be release of protein kinase c this will ultimately lead to progressive narrowing and occlusion of the vascular lamina and uh, because of that the perfusion of that organ or tissue will uh, compromised and it will produce the ischemia and ultimately the there will be damage in the such tissues we have uh, already uh, studied about the genetics behind this microvascular complications as we know that uh, this chronic hyperglycemia like state will uh, produce such products uh those are advanced glycation and products reactive oxygen species and protein kinase c this all this uh, products products will lead to change in the dna methylation histone methylation and nuclear transcription which will ultimately lead to changes in the epigenetic chromatin and there will be altered gene regulation which will be ultimately lead to development of complication of diabetes mellitus apart from that there are some endogenous protective factor also which will reverse or which will not lead to development of the microvascular complications those are insulin which will regulate the level of blood glucose apart from that uh, anti inflammatory agents and anti oxidant enzymes are also there which will uh, prohibit the person to develop the microvascular complications apart from that 
the platelet derived growth factors are there the vascular endothelial growth factors and activated protein kinase c are the other factors which will lead to protection for this microvascular complications so whenever this microvascular injury uh, takes care so it means there is always the imbalance between this endogenous protective factor and the cellular injury so what are the take home message uh, in this discussion understanding about the microvascular de- disease in diabetes is forever evolving which we will uh, understood new theories new mechanism in uh, future as also this microvascular complications are uh, disabling as these complications involve various sophisticated organs like uh, kidneys eyes and other uh, body parts and sometimes these are potentially fatal also however the intensive and early glycemic control can delay the onset of such microvascular complications and uh, this has been proved by this very important uh, dcct uh, trial also which took place in 1993 and still uh, there are some novel treatment study that are uh, uh, developing which can delay the onset or which can reverse the microvascular compli- complication and we are still uh, on the evolution of such uh, novel treatment strategies thank you so much for watching this video